Maya. Hi, buddy. <gasps> Hi. Where's up, sir? Can I see those feetsies? What's going on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. It is so good to be back. I know I haven't posted a video yesterday. I was supposed to post one yesterday and things got crazy. I wasn't even home. It was just a lot, but I am here today. If you have been here before, thank you for returning. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Subscribe you guys, what are you doing? Subscribe and share this video share it if you like what you see it may be informative to somebody else as a matter of fact it will be informative to somebody else because i have a good topic that is going to help a lot of people today but without further ado let's get straight into the video okay you guys this is jackson i absolutely love and adore this dog he is so sweet when he first came to me i want to say it was sometime in the middle of last year he was so nervous coming in there and he had been groomed twice before prior to me doing him and he came to me and he was just the sweetest but he was so nervous you can tell and his mom absolutely loved the haircut that i did on him so she decided to stick with me i absolutely love this dog he's so sweet and you'll see in some of the videos he likes to give me his paw and me and his relationship have grown over the time span of me grooming him he's bonded very well with me he loves to come see me when he comes in he actually gets really happy to see me which i think is so cute oh it's so adorable but today on him we are doing a teddy bear cut on him and when i say he looks like a teddy bear when he's done oh he's so cute he looks absolutely adorable when he's done and you know what now that i think of it what helps him look more like a teddy bear is the color of his coat because he does look like a little stuffed animal that you would purchase from the store hit the color of his coat is beautiful he is like this almost like a bronzy gold color he's just oh he's so cute i love him he is the sweetest he's just a really good dog he doesn't like to stand and i think y'all will see that in the video but it's not really something that's like super major because he's a smaller dog i want to say he's anywhere between 25 to 30 pounds if that and i will say if that because i don't think he is that big but he is very very sweet he just doesn't like to stand like a normal dog but it's not like I'm dealing with like a big old Newfoundland that I have to keep lifting up. So that's why I say it's really not a huge deal that he doesn't like to stand. Sometimes it can be frustrating when do when you have dogs that don't want to stand. But for him, it's it's pretty easy. <laughs> As you can see, he's sitting down now. <laughs> so just to quickly touch on his bath. So his mom, who I absolutely love as well. Before I touch on his bath, groomers. Do y'all just have that one client where you love the pet parent and you love the dog as well? I have quite a few of them, but when I say his mom is so sweet, like she is probably one of the sweetest people I've met since I've moved down south. She is just, oh, she's so nice. <laughs> if you ever see this video, I love you. You are so sweet. <laughs> but to touch on his bath, he usually gets an upgraded package so that'll include teeth brushing nail grinding he gets an upgraded shampoo and conditioner so for him i always do the chi on him for the most part i, I won't say i always do because sometimes i don't have the product and i can't do it but for the most part i'll do the chi on him the chi is a deep moisturizing shampoo and conditioner it is really really I'll say volumizing for a dog. I don't know if that's an actual word, but <laughs> I'll say volumizing. It literally fluffs the coat up. It makes the coat nice. Now, is it the best product out there? No, there are 
plenty of other products that are out there that are much better than the Qi. But for what this company offers, it is the best product that they sell in there as well as the hemp shampoo. So if you're ever taking your dog into a corporate business, see if they have the Qi or the hemp shampoo that is probably the best one there. But as I was stating, it is really good for their coat. It goes in there it deep cleans their coat and it moisturizes their coat very well makes their coat nice and thick and nice and fluffy and it's just it's phenomenal and it lasts on them for about two weeks and I do think I talked about this in one of my other videos because I do have other clients that get that as well and if you're ever wondering yes they do make chi for humans so it is a product that you can use on your dog and then they also have a product that you can use for humans i don't know if the ingredients are the same i've never used chi on my hair before i just know they sell it in the store but i usually use a deep moisturizing shampoo and conditioner on him and that'll help me find any tangles that he may have he never really has tangles i will say that his tail may be matted every now and again but on his body it's usually pretty okay but i use that chi shampoo and conditioner because it really helps the cut come out nicely and pretty much it helps his coat do basically what i need it to do so for groomers out there if you're looking for a home-based shampoo to use on your dogs if you're a home groomer or if you are a pet parent grooming their dogs at home a good home based shampoo would be the chi it's sold in stores you can also get it on amazon i believe and you can also get it on chewy and i did recently find out that you can get the big gallons on chewy so if you don't want to buy the smaller containers you can get the big gallons on chewy and for the groomers out there that use different shampoo for their dogs even if you don't invest in the chi there are a number of shampoos out there that you can use but i always recommend investing in a good shampoo and conditioner for your dog for people that are washing their dogs at home and trying to groom their dogs at home invest in a good shampoo and conditioner it is going to one help you maintain the coat it's going to keep their coat and their skin really healthy and it's going to just be all around a good shampoo and if you get a really good quality shampoo the scent will last on your dog for quite some time But getting into his groom, as I stated earlier, we are going to be doing a teddy bear haircut on Jackson. And she doesn't like him to be too long, but she doesn't like him shaved short. So I think I stated this in one of my other videos. If you are looking for a good length, if a pet parent comes to tell you and they say, I don't want him shaved, but I don't want him long. So they say short but fluffy. A really good length would be a half an inch on the body and that is what Jackson gets he comes in about every six to eight weeks and he gets a half an inch on his body and then I'll do either a zero or an A on his head depending on how long his face looks I may cut it down to a zero and then if he comes back in the next time and his face does not look super long I'll take an agar comb to it just so it can kind of clean up and neaten up his face So before I do any guard comb length on my dogs, I always brush them out first because that'll help me find any snaggles, any tangles, or any knots in their coat. Snaggles and tangles and knots, they're probably all the same thing. <laughs> but I brush them out first so I can find any tangles and depending on if they have any knots or if I see that during the drying time, I don't usually have to take a comb to their body because there are no knots. So I'll brush them out and that'll kind of fluff up the coat and make for a nice cleaner cut now for the ears it really all depends upon the owner and what they want done to the ears but for me if an owner asks me to just kind of give them that doodle look which a lot of people ask for and a lot of people like request i will usually run an agar comb over the ears and that kind of gives them a soft fluffy look but it's not overwhelming on the face where they have a nice cute round face and then their ears are extra long now i will say some people prefer that some people prefer their ears long down to the shoulder blades i cannot stand it i don't understand how they can keep that maintained and some of them do come in matted but 
some people do like that look i personally do not i like the ears to be proportioned to the face so an agar comb on the ears i have found gives a really cute look to the face and if you think about it teddy bears don't have long ears they have pretty much short fluffy ears so an agar comb to a face that has an, either a zero guard comb or an a on it adds a really nice touch to it and any groomer that's listening you can experiment on different lengths on the ear when you take a guard comb to it just to kind of see what you like and what you prefer and what looks best with the haircut that you've done i just noticed for me personally that an agar comb is a beautiful touch to the ear now if i am shaving the dog down in probably a five on the body and i'm doing a one guard comb on the face i may do a zero on the ears well no actually i may still do an a on the ears if they are getting a five blade all over so a five on the body five on the face because some parents do like that they do want their dog shave one length all over but they still want to keep the ears a decent length i'll do a one guard comb on the ears so you kind of have to gauge it on how long or how short you are cutting the dog down because if you're cutting it shorter on the shorter side like a seven or a five blade you don't want to leave the ears long in an a you want to cut them down to maybe a half an inch or one guard comb or if you're leaving them on the longer side an a guard comb on the ears looks great but if you're leaving them really long i would say just kind of round the ears out don't take a guard comb to them so if you're leaving them anything longer than an inch i wouldn't take a guard comb to the ears unless the owner asks for that okay class <laughs> sometimes i want to say that when i'm talking on here because <laughs> i feel like it just sounds so funny but now that i have gone over the haircut and what i basically do on jackson when he comes in and if you guys have any questions please feel free to drop those down in the comment section i love chatting with you guys and i love giving out any information that you may need or if any questions that you may have or if you feel like maybe i skipped a step somewhere let me know drop it down in the comments i love to hear from you all but also make sure you hit that like button because that helps out with the youtube algorithm a lot also commenting helps out with the youtube algorithm a lot so right along with liking it y'all make sure y'all drop a comment let's get this video pushed out so other people can see it but now that we have gone over his haircut notes now i'm going to hop right into the topic so the topic that i want to talk about today is dental hygiene and the importance of taking care of your dog's teeth and what can also lead up to heavy tartar build up on your dog's teeth that you didn't know i'm sure that the vet will tell you helps the dog and their dental care when in reality it actually doesn't it contributes to it so a little backstory would be when i first got my dog charlie the oldest one he's 12 years old he'll be 13 this year and i still can't believe that i've had a dog for almost 13 years wow but backstory so when i first got him i took him to the vet just to get him checked out make sure everything was good and start him on his vaccines originally i wanted to put him on wet food because i thought wet food was you know better for them it was a little more healthier for them it was better for their coat better for their diet and the vet actually informed me that wet food can build tartar up on their teeth so much faster than dry food can and i took what the vet said and i trusted it because for me in my mind okay this is a vet she, she knows what she's talking about she's been doing this for years they go to school for this they know exactly what they're talking about so why not believe them so she instructed me to keep them on a harder kibble and that will actually help to break down the tartar that builds up on their teeth so for years he was on dry food as you all know my dog is on a homemade diet which is a wet food diet but he was on this dry food for years and for years i couldn't understand why per the vet's recommendation he'd be on dry food why his tartar kept building up on his teeth and his tartar kept building up on his teeth heavily so i just couldn't understand it so it took a while for me to kind of start doing my own research i don't do my own research right away i was very naive to it but this is why i'm sharing everything because I feel like more people should know and also I 
feel like that's why a lot of people share it because more people should know dry food and I've said this several times in several videos dry food is not good for your dogs it's not and I had to learn the hard way because my dog was on dry food up until maybe six months ago I would say he's been on maybe not that long let's count <laughs> So he got his teeth cleaned in September and he's been on dry food ever since then. So yeah, that's roughly about six months. So he's been on dry food for about six months. Now I've gotten his teeth cleaned before years ago because his tartar was so bad. About at the six month mark, he would have had a whole bunch of tartar on his teeth by then. And I just couldn't figure it out because the vet was recommending that I get his teeth cleaned biannually so every six months and I just couldn't understand I'm like why if this dry food is supposed to help why am I getting his teeth clean so often now getting your dog's teeth clean is a good thing I definitely think people should get their dog's teeth clean but for me to have to get it done twice a year I don't understand it And heavy tartar buildup on the teeth can cause a lot of issues because the tooth can then become infected where it's now infecting the gums and it can lead to so much more health issues. So getting your dog's teeth clean is an actual must. I do recommend that, especially if your dog has a lot of tartar, but there are a lot of different things that you can do at home to prevent it. So Charlie's story, basically he had an infected tooth and it was caked with tartar because he was on dry food. So one, we had to get the infected tooth taken care of. So he had to be on a spout of antibiotics for about a week and a half to two weeks. That cleared up his tooth infection. That also calmed down his heart murmur because the infected tooth was causing so much pain to his body that his heart murmur was progressing and progressing very fast. So once we took care of the infected tooth, we I took him in for his dental surgery and they cleaned up his teeth. They didn't have to extract the tooth. They recommend that I do it, but it was for this astronomical amount that I could not pay for. So I said, let's look at alternatives because I cannot afford that. I can't afford that right now. We're going to have to figure something else out. So we did the teeth cleaning while he was being monitored heavily by the vet because she said due to his heart murmur, it could be a tricky teeth cleaning because you don't want to put a dog under sedation that is having issues with a heart murmur or the heart murmur is progressing rapidly because the dog can pass away under surgery. So while he was on his medication, on the antibiotics for his infected tooth, I switched him completely over to a homemade diet. By the time he got to the vet to get his teeth cleaned, the antibiotics helped and his homemade diet helped and his heart murmur actually went down as opposed to going up again. It went back down. She said it was just barely a two. It was teetering in between a one and a two. So what I learned right there instantly in that moment is that no more dry food for my dog. One, the homemade diet is helping. Two, his skin and his coat look great. He doesn't shed as much anymore. His teeth look great. Like I said, for it to be six months since he had his last teeth cleaning and he's been on a homemade diet, there is very too little to no tartar on his teeth. Now, keep in mind, I also brush his teeth. I don't brush his teeth daily. I think the last time I brushed his teeth was probably about three to four days ago, which I'm going to do it again tonight, but I usually brush his teeth right before he eats. I also do a water additive, which I'll put up here. I'll put a picture up here that is really good. It keeps his breath fresh and it also helps to break down the tartar over time. Also, so my dog has never had an ear infection before in his life until recently before I put him on a homemade diet. Now, prior to him never having ear infections, he always had a smell to his ear. 
I couldn't pinpoint it. I didn't know what it was. I was uneducated back then. Well, now that I'm learning, the smell to his ear was yeast. So he always had yeast in his ears, but it never developed into a ear infection where the vet thought it was alarming. Well, now that he's on a homemade diet, his ears don't smell like anything. There's no smell to his ears. There's no waxy film all over his ears. The ear canal stays clean nothing builds up he just all around is a healthier dog and it's i feel bad because it took me 11 and a half to 12 years to figure it out but it's better late than never so if you have an older dog and you're thinking well he's older i don't have to worry about that whatever the case is you know he's lip no never give up on your dogs I am here to tell you, even at an older age, Charlie is doing so much better, 10 times better. He has young energy. <laughs> He's like a two-year-old puppy. He is a happy dog. He gets up, he gets around, he does his thing. And the results are, the results are there. The proof is in the pudding. You just have to take that step and do it yourself. I know, again, like I said it before, homemade diets can be time consuming but it's so worth it because one it cuts down those vet bills my other dog Yazzie her coat is growing back so nicely I just was saying yesterday her coat is so much thicker than it has ever been and it's still growing in thicker because she still has some spots now that's also with the, the help of an antifungal shampoo but it's also correcting the diet at home because what goes in the dog is eventually going to come out the dog So for those of you that are struggling with dental issues with your dog, change your dog's diet around. If you don't want to go directly into the homemade diet, try just putting your dog on a wet food diet. And that doesn't necessarily mean a store-bought wet food diet. There are so many options out there for you. You can opt for Farmer's Dog. There is a company called We Feed Raw if you want to try the raw diet. They pretty much do everything for you. They put all the supplements and everything in there. All you have to do is give the dog the food. And they have it kind of packaged out for you. No, this is not an ad. They should sponsor me though, but no, this is not an ad. But I just know them to be a really good company. Farmer's Dog and We Feed Raw. Great, great companies. And if you opt to do that, I want you to come back to this video and let me know. Matter of fact, the people that are home cooking their dog's food or even if you just have your dog simply on a wet diet let me know what your dog's teeth look like does the tartar build up really fast or do they have clean teeth because i'm amazed at the results from my dog and to be honest i really wish i would have known sooner but it's better late than never also brush your dog's teeth don't just go off of the wet food diet is not going to have the dog's tartar built up fast brush your dog's teeth and when you are brushing your dog's teeth brush along the gum line because that is where the tartar builds up the most and can cause an infected tooth it can cause the gums to get infected and open up a whole slew of health issues so brush your dog's teeth you can also do a water additive if you're not going to brush your dog's teeth every day i also give my dogs treats from arc naturals it's called a brushless dog treat so it has toothpaste built into the treat itself and that helps to break down the tartar on my other two dogs teeth when i say i've never seen results like that i've never seen results like that and no offense to greenies they do not work they do not work those are sponsored by the vet as well try the arc naturals those are phenomenal and brush your dog's teeth and use the water additive like i said i'll put them all in here and i'll also add a link on the chewy website so y'all can find them on there and order them yourself if you'd like to
now that we are winding down to the end of the video i want to take a minute and just say i really love and appreciate all of you guys i love the support i love that y'all tune in to all of my videos and y'all are eager for more let's hit that like button let's get a hundred likes and a thousand views let's get this video pushed out to the algorithm so more people can see it but now we're going to take a look at his before this is what he looked like when he came in and this is jackson's after he looks so cute i told you guys he looks like a real life teddy bear look at him i told you he likes to give me his ball <laughs> He smacked the phone on my hand. Yeah, he doesn't like videos, but he loves attention. So he wants me to just hold him the whole time. But like I said, make sure y'all like this video. Hit that like button. Share it if you like what you see. Subscribe to my channel. I have more great content coming. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love you guys.